Hey, Dale. I'm trying to get this camera to look right here. Is that backwards? Does my logo look back? Is everything backwards? It looks backwards to me. First time I use this camera on the laptop. Hey, Big D. Scotty Arena. Does that read my, uh, my logo or is it just what I'm looking at? Hey, Jess. Cool. I don't know why it shows it backwards to me. It's kind of weird. So we'll see how many can jump in here. Uh, I'm just doing a quick video. So uh, my son and wife, and my wife uh, doesn't work there anymore, but they were working for an estate sale place, um, helping set up and, you know, sell stuff and stuff. And so, um, of course, you know, they get kind of, kind of first look at different stuff. And, uh, you know, my son, uh, Alec, also known as Bubba, uh, he's into the card thing as am, you know, me and my youngest boy, Cade. And uh, they found these cards that were going to be up for sale. And I, I, uh, they were only in like, they were in like baggies, um, in decent shape. So I, I had top loaded everything. Um, but, um, Hey, Legion Italia, thanks for coming by. But what, so <laughs> this company, um, they don't let you just, you know, if you work for them, they don't let you just pick whatever you want and, uh, you know, take it before anybody can get it you actually have to stand in line so my son went early before work stood in line he was second in line and then my wife went and took over mrs rsr and she was second in line and she was able to get uh hey mike mike the card dude thing uh, indians card dude joe iphone what's up uh, you guys able to hear me yeah Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Lisa and Italia. All right. Thanks, Jess. So, so yeah, um, they grabbed this box. My wife was second in the door <clears throat> and she grabbed these box of cards and I just want to show everybody. So uh, I was pretty excited. I haven't had football cards this old before. So here's everything that was in the box. Uh, and again, I, I top loaded and soft sleeved everything to, to preserve it. Got this Joe Namath. And if you see, it has a crease down the middle, unfortunately, but um, I don't know. I think it gives it character. I kind of like it. <clears throat> so Joe Namath and these are all 19. See, this one is 1968 or nine. I'm mixing them up here. Let's see. These are 69s, I believe. Yeah. So this is a 69 Namath. Got a Johnny U, Johnny Unitas. Uh, corners are a little soft on all of these. Um, obviously someone loved them and, and play with them, but, um, uh, you know, not bad corners. I know Scotty likes the, the Jets. That's his guy, probably. Trying to read some of the chat there. Cool guys. Thanks Thanks for coming by. Um, so Johnny U. That's a uh, 69. <clears throat> this is a 69 Larry Zonka rookie. So um, pretty darn cool. I just like the colors that they used to have in these cards. You know, these older cards. That's what the back looks like. <clears throat> see if this thing can focus in we're trying there we go uh you know i always had a little something about them and then uh you know their stats and stuff uh i know that posada loved this one and so would uh uh jimmy guns got uh billy king and this one's a 68 i believe cool card dick buckus I believe this is his third year card and this one's a 68 come on yeah i agree henzo i can't believe my my son and wife found these and again you know these are you know it's got a little bit of wear um top and bottom not terrible this one doesn't have any creases uh i just couldn't believe they found these and uh you know what am i going to do with them well, I think they need to get in hands of people that enjoy that team or player or PC that team. Um, so there's Buckus. Hold on one sec. Got some stuff popping on my laptop. I can't see you guys. 
Hey, crazy. Thanks for coming by. Just went through a few. I'll show them again real quick. So they've got, got a Buckus, uh, 69, 68 card, uh, 68 Billy Cannon, 69 Larry Zonka rookie card, Johnny U, 69. Got Joe Namath. This one's got a crease in it. Bad though. Uh, this is another one, Passat and Jimmy Guns would like. Old George Blanda. And this is a 68 card. Cool card. Look at this one, Nick Bonacani. I believe this is his third year card. Started with the Patriots and then, of course, went on to the Dolphins. Awesome, awesome linebacker. And if you ever see a 30 for 30 on him, watch it. It's pretty interesting um, how things in his life changed what he did and how much of a family man he really is. So do check out Nick Bonacani's 30 for 30. It's awesome. <laughs> Crazy for your cardboard, buddy. But, uh, so we got a couple Alex Karras's. Uh, they're both a little worn, you know, on the corners. Not bad, though. Two of those. Uh, two Ray Nitschke's, and these are 68s. Um, you know, back when the Packers were the team to follow because they won every, everything, won the first two Super Bowls. So I got two Ray Nitschke's, and those are 68s. The 68s have the little logo here. You see that, the logo there. And then the 69s, you know, have the um, – wait a minute, I'm getting mixed up. This is the 68 right here with the white and then the 69s are have the color around it i was trying to keep track of all of it so got two ray nitschke's and then we got a mel renfro i know that uh um who am i thinking about who's my lions fans so uh eloy the goat i know is uh e-rock eric i know he is keep getting these little pop-ups i hate that on my laptop Yeah, Ray Nitschke, great, great card there. So there's Mel Renfro, um, Jim Taylor, you know, another Packer great back when they had that great uh, backfield. And actually, if you notice here, it's Saints, New Orleans Saints. So as my, they must have got traded that year or at the end of the year, signed with them. But yeah, Jim Taylor was a great for the Packers. Um, got a Billy Kilmer. Trying to keep these all organized. Got Billy Kilmer uh, when he was with the Saints. And he went on to greatness with the, uh, oh, look at that. That's uh, going to be look like Bart Starr. going to be a puzzle. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, he went on with the Redskins, Billy Kilmer. I'm not sure if he played for the Saints after or before that. But as you see, a little bit of wear in the corner there. But overall, you know, these things are, what, 40, 50 years old? Pretty amazing. Look at that one. I think this one's awesome. Andy Russell. That's a 69. Lots of wear there and on the bottom. But um, I know that Crosby would just love to have that card. Crosby's a huge Steelers fan. Dante. Dante's a huge fan. Uh, we got a 68 John Hadel. Uh, back when they were the baby blue, the Chargers. Quarterback, and I believe he's number 21. He's one of the few that wore some, a weird number. Yeah, guys, sub each other, sub each other, um, you know, anything you guys got, uh, you know, if you go live uh, with an auction, throw your info in there. Um, we're going to try to go live every Sunday at one o'clock Denver time. So that would be three o'clock Eastern. We're trying to pick a time when no one else is on because um, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. So one o'clock every Sunday, we're going to do our auction and we've done two so far and Gosh, I don't think anything's gone over 10 bucks. Most most everything's between, you know, around five bucks and less. I just, you know, we want to move some cards and get some money for the channel. And of course, uh, look at donating to that fund uh, that Deafness and uh, Crazy are both talking about uh, for, you know, helping others in the card community. So here's Bob Lilly. That's a 69 design. And this one's better. And it doesn't, has a little bit of soft corners there, but this one's got that damage down there. But, um, Again, you know, Dell, I'm sure Dell's, I don't know if you remember the Cowboys from way back then, but gosh darn, some cool cards there. And then a Dick Bass with the Rams when they were originally the LA Rams. Sometimes this camera works with me and against me. There we go. 
So there's Nick Bass, cool card. Uh, Jim Nance with the Boston Patriots. I think that's just cool. Anything with Boston Patriots, and it's, it's got wear all over it, but just to have a piece of this, this you know, history, I think it's awesome. Uh, Rudy, Rudy Kuchenberg, and this one I'm wondering if his son, uh, I think it's Bob Kuchenberg, played for the Dolphins uh, lineman. I don't know if there's any relation there, um, but, yeah, I'm going to look that up. Cool card. Another Jim Nance. Had two of those. This one's not quite as beat up. Uh, Leroy Jordan, he was a linebacker great for the Cowboys, for Dale's Cowboys. Dick LeBeau, definitely one of the um, better defensive backs ever. Guy could hit like a train. Detroit Lions, uh, Eloy's team. Elijah Pitts, again, part of that Green Bay Packer backfield that did so great. Uh, Henzo, am I selling these? You know, um, I think we're going to look at trying to fairly price them. Um, you know, these can go anywhere from a buck on eBay up to, you know, probably, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks, but we just want to, um, look at our options, but I think, yeah, we'd like to pass them along to all of you at a very fair price that, so you guys could enjoy them if it's your PC team. So I don't see us keeping many of these. There's a couple Broncos, um, in here that I might keep, but, um, and it's up to my son too. My son uh, helped purchase these. So, or actually he did purchase them. So he said they were for the channel, but you know, they're his cards. He spent, he spent the money on them. Um, <laughs> everybody's a bum, right, Joe? All right, Mike, thanks for uh, st stopping by. Get that yard clean for the weekend. Sounds good, buddy. Uh, Lance Rensel, Cowboys. Carol Dale, Packers. This camera just zooms in and out sometimes, and I can't keep it so it uh, focuses. Uh, this is Lindsay, Vikings. Billy Gambrel with the Lions. Bill Munson. That's funny, Munson. That you know the uh, uh, what's that movie with Woody pa uh, Woody Page? Not Woody Page. Woody uh, Harrelson. Woody Page is a writer here in Denver. Uh, Kingpin. And they say, don't, don't get Munson. If you guys remember that one, <laughs> there's a dollar of the Packers, uh, Earl Gross, Pittsburgh, but he looks like he was with Green Bay, Hewitt Dixon, Raiders. That looks like a Bronco uniform. There is a Bronco, Tom Beer. Got to like that name. And Bobby Maples, center uh, for the Oilers. Bobby Maples was number 50 with the Broncos after he played for the Oilers, and he was a great center for us here in Denver. Just flip through these here. There's Charlie King, Eric Barnes, Browns, Jim Houston, Browns, I know that name. Tom Matt, that was when they were the Baltimore Colts. Lenny Lyles, he was a good defensive back. Doug Atkins on those poor Saints teams that never won. Earl Gross is another stealer. For Crosby, let's see, Lenny Lyles, Lou Michaels, got a few Colts here and a few Saints. Dave Witzel, uh, Tony Larick, Jackie Smith, good tight end. God, I want to say Jackie Smith was the one that dropped that touchdown. And what I don't remember what Super Bowl it was, Cowboys and Pittsburgh Steelers. Like he caught it right on his chest and Staubach threw him the pass and he dropped it to tie the game up again. If, if I remember the right, the right Jackie Smith, uh, that's a cool card. Larry Wilson. I'm a big fan. Let's see, Joe, I'm a big fan of players who are supposed to be in the hall. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If any of these are in the, uh, should be in the hall, let me know, Joe. I don't know all these players. I haven't looked them all up. Uh, there's Packers, Bob Jeter. And then the three of these cards were in there with it. And I'm not sure. I've never seen these. Uh, let's see if we can get it to focus here. Perhaps. There we go. All-time baseball greats. Greatest catcher. Uh, Mickey Cotton, it's got his, you know, his auto, not the real one, but just a, a manufacturer. It's a 3D look to it. And on the back, it's got all these career highlights. And I can't, I need to, I couldn't find this, uh, while I was on crazy's feed. So I need to look up when these are, but I've never seen these. So there's that one, Gordon Stanley. Um, this one is Ray Foss, catcher. 
the Indians, and then uh, Cater. So it's, let's see, Danny Cater with the Yankees. So I've never seen those before. Um, kind of cool. i got to see what year those are from. And let's see. i got some more cards here. There's a total of 164 cards in this lot that they sold. And they were going to sell it, you know, either as a lot or as by piece. And uh, we're like, no, we'll take them all. So thank you. Thank my wife for standing in line along with my uh, oldest son. So we'll just go through these quick so you guys can see them. If any of them, if you knew, uh, yeah, it was a good score. Um, if you know any of these, just let me know. Um, I got to look them all up because this was, you know, I was born in 68, so <laughs> didn't really know football then when I was born. So uh, these are the 1968 uh, uh, tops. So Stonebreaker, uh, Ray Poge, Ralph Baker, Dick Bass. I know that name. Uh, Roy Jefferson. Leroy Mitchell, the Boston Patriots. Ode Burrell. Looks like he's in a mugshot or something. Spider Lockhart. He had to be good if his name was Spider, huh? Ray Carlton. There's a Dave Osborne of the Vikings. Bobby Walden. I remember him. The Vikings. I think he played a long time. Ron Vanderkellen. You think the Kellogg's or... Oh, 1971 on the uh, baseball ones? Cool. I'll have to... Look it up. Actually, looking in the corner here, um, it says number 30 of 75. So, obviously, there was a, a, a series. Um, good to know, though. Thanks, Gary. Um, let's see. We did that one. Lamar Lundy. Lundy, I'm sorry. Dick Bass. There's another Dick Bass. We saw him already. Chris Buford. Bengals. There's that cool uniform everybody likes, the big blue. I think that was voted the best uniform of all time by uh, NFL Network, I believe. Or it might have been ESPN, one of the two. Bob Riggle. There's a Jim Norton back when Oilers had their blue helmets. I always liked the Oilers colors. I was an Earl Campbell fan many years, even though I've always been a Bronco fan. I love watching him run. It's John Charles, Gary Ballman. Eagles looks like a Steelers outfit, though, doesn't it? Maybe he played for the Steelers that year before he went to Philly. Keith Lincoln, Bills. Andy Livingston of the Bears. Jim Beckin, kicker and flanker. Cardinals. Let's see. Early 70s Kellogg's are worth a bunch. Late 70s not worth much. So, hey, Jarhead Entrepreneur, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. So, what we're doing, I'm just going over what we found at this estate sale. My wife and son scored them for me while I was at work yesterday. Um, my oldest boy, Alec, he bought the box of them, and my wife stood in line for a couple hours to get it. Because uh, people right after her were looking for this this box. It's about 164 cards, I believe, uh, in this. And it has 1969 and 1968 <clears throat> cards. Excuse me. There's a Pat Stud still. He's a stud still. <laughs> that's funny. Jerry Mays. Remember that name? He was a good defensive end. Uh, that's a Bronco uniform. But this is Houston Oilers. Miller Farr. There's a Wendell Hayes with the Chief. I remember with the Chiefs. I remember he was a pretty good running back, if I remember right. Uh, this is back when football players were football players, you know? They're just tough. And they didn't get paid much, you know? They had to have jobs in the offseason, so they didn't get to go to OTAs in the offseason and get paid for it. They actually worked. These guys are tough. Paul Flatley, Vikings. Chris Curtis McClinton. Uh, here's a Bob Jeter. And yeah, this one's got a little bit of a crease in it. I don't think any of these corners are perfect, but gosh, for as old as they are, they're as old as me. So they're 50 years old, you know. There's uh, George Sames. And then this is the 69 uh, design. Eric Barnes, the Browns. Uh, Fred Arvinus, Doug Atkins, Bill Triplett. You can just tell somebody, you know, enjoyed these cards. I love it. I love character. You know, it's cool to have graded cards and, and get cards that are just perfect. But uh, this just reminds me of when I collected cards in, in the 70s, you know, and you just you looked at them a lot and you traded them with your buddies. You know, you get a little bit of wear on them. There's uh, Jim Kokolo, I think, Boston Patriots. Cat Van 
Katkovich. Katkovich. Had to work, sound that one out. <laughs> Ernie Coy. Bill Glass. Yeah, I think they'd be, uh, they would be tough to grade. Uh, Legion, especially, you know, you know, it's worn, so why even send it in? But yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I've never sent a card in for grading. I, I've, you know, I have a few in my collection, but um, I think definitely none of these would grade well just because they've definitely been used and, and handled. There's a Randy Johnson, Tony Lorick. Uh, triplet, is he a ref now? I'm uh, not sure. I'll have to look it up. Or was that one right there? Bill Triplet. He might be. I'll have to look that one up. I'm not sure, Henzo. Name is familiar, though, isn't it? Let's put him to the side. We'll have to look him up. There's uh, Ed Midor, Wayne Walker, Lions. Check that one out. Jim Stofa, quarterback. So, obviously, he was with the Bang or uh, uh, with the Dolphins, but now he's with the Bengals. And, and, you know, when he changed teams, it's kind of cool card, different. In fact, I love the old Dolphins jerseys and their and their uniforms. I think I like them so much more than their new ones. And we got 49ers. Look at that old logo, the four and the nine. So cool. Jimmy Johnson, Dave Wilcox, 49ers, Jerry Simmons, Sonny Bishop, Oilers, Carl Noonan of the Dolphins. Wow, look at that background with that jersey. Oof, it's bright. Love it. Fred Hill, Eagles. Gary Ballman of the Eagles. Uh, Rob Cappadona. That's Bills. And that obviously was a Boston Patriots uniform. Jim Dunaway. Looks like a good old big lineman, defensive tackle. Back when guys were just big because they were out working in the fields, getting their muscles built up by throwing Bays of Hell. Tom Day. There's Steve DeLong, Chargers. Howard Tilly, Dolphins. Benny McCray. Bears, the Bears, lots of wear on the bottom of that. There's another Jim Houston. We saw him earlier. Uh, Rick Harris has got a few creases in it. I got to still top load these. I'm top loading everything. I just ran out of top loaders. Some creases there, Benny McCray. For those that came in a little later, um, in the beginning of this, I showed you all the good cards. Like I put aside, I thought were good. And we got Dick LeBeau that I actually had enough top loaders for. There's Leroy Jordan. He played many years. Hey, San Francisco Cards. How are you, bud? Just going over some cards. We scored a, at a, a state auction yesterday. Jim Nance. These are 1960. These are 69s. So there's a couple Jim Nances. Uh, Dick Bass. Two Bob Lillies. 69. A John Hadel, 68. Andy Russell, 69. A little bit of wear on that, but that's okay. 68 Billy Kilmer, 68 Jim Taylor when he went to the Saints from the Packers. There's Mel Renfro. I know he's a legend in Detroit, 68. 269 Ray Nitschke's, cool stuff. 269 Alex Karras's. Uh, cool. Okay, we're going live San Francisco cards. I'm not going to be on much longer. I just want to show everybody these cards we scored. These are awesome. Nick Bonacani, early, early in his career. I believe this is his third year card uh, before he went to the Dolphins. There's a George Blanda Raiders. He was he played into his 40s, I believe. And then we got Joe Namath, Johnny Yu. Two of the uh, staple quarterbacks back then, you know. Actually, they played Super Bowl three when uh, Namath won it. I think it was 16 to 3 or something like that, if I remember right. Um, great cards there. Larry Zonka, rookie, 69. And a George Blanda. This is a 1960. I'm sorry, that uh, Billy Cannon, not George Blanda. My bad. So yeah, uh, I think probably most of those will be up in our, our live auction here. We got to figure out what you know what's a fair price for them. We don't want to you know over overprice things. We want you guys to get them at a fair deal. Um, and and just remind everybody, we'll be going live at one o'clock Mountain Time, three o'clock Eastern every Sunday. If we have time, stop by, get some cheap cards. These were in there too. Uh, and I've never seen these. This one's got a crease in it, but I've never seen these. So it says spec sheet, hot rod dictionary, about the quarter mile rail job. Just talks about racing a little bit. Um, I have to look this up. Never seen this before. So I'm sure some of my NASCAR buddies out, uh, out east, well, I'm not in NASCAR. <laughs> and then we got some, obviously some cowboying and some roping different. This was in there too. Kevin Harvick, 
kind of strange. It was all in part of the lot. And then there was about 30 of these in there. They're 19, uh, what year was this? 1978 tops. So this was the best of the bunch, Harold Carmichael. Uh, yep, and you know, he was only, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is after his seventh year. He was a great receiver. And then just some cars when the Broncos got their butts whipped in their first, first Super Bowl they played. Cunningham, Bernard Jackson, there's Matuzak. He was a tough cuss. Billy White Shoes Johnson, there's a cool one. Crosby liked that one. All pro. Pete Johnson was good. Danny White for Dale's Broncos. Conrad Dobler, he was really good. He was tough as nails. He was, I think he was named the third dirtiest player ever in uh, NFL history. And he was. He, he'd bite you and, and grab your you know what. He did whatever he could to win. Roman Gabriel, quarterback. There's a Busey. Bateman, Sam the Bam, Cunningham, Tony Fritch was a kicker for many years. Reggie McKenzie, great, great lineman. He uh, he played and was a lineman for OJ uh, many years. There's Bobby Bryant. He was a great cornerback. Dennis Johnson, Mike Bragg, Raphael Septian. He ended up kicking for uh, the uh, Cowboys also. McCray, McMillan, some team leaders. There's Freddie Solomon. He was a receiver many years with Dan Marino. So, yeah, this is everything that was in that box. Uh, they said there was 164 pieces in it. I didn't count everything, but it's mostly the 68 and 69. So, so yeah. Um, Dell's Cowboys, you mean Cowboys. Well, you like the Cowboys, don't you, Dell? Um, so, anyway, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you guys what we got and remind everybody we're live Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Denver time. Um, you know, usually we're on three to four hours, just depending if people are ha have time to come by and, and visit with us and you know, maybe get some cheap. So that is what we scored. So, uh, appreciate everybody stopping by. Let's see. The car card is a 71 FLIR NHRA drag, drag card. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I've never seen those and I don't even know if they're worth anything. Probably just end up giving it to someone who's a, a, a NASCAR person. Kind of cool, though. I like the old way people used to dress, you know, and the old vehicles in the back. Huh. Kind of cool. Thanks for the information, Legion. That's cool. Yeah, I'm crazy. I love older cards. You know, every, all of us like grabbing that, that, auto, uh, that auto out of a fresh box, you know, and, and getting cool stuff. Um, but it's also cool to visit, you know, the past and uh, to be able to see what you know, people used to see uh, when they were kids and opening packs and like, you know, you get this new stuff, like, you know, you got this obsidian, this Ronald Jones with these, just this really crazy sick patch here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors in it, you know, stuff like that numbered, or you, you pull this, you know, here's an obsidian Josh Rosen that we pulled last year. Um, and we held on to, and, you know, we could have sold it and probably got a hundred bucks for it. But now it's like, worth 20 or 30 bucks and we don't know what he's going to do because he's now the quarterback of the uh, Dolphins. So um, Dolphins, right? I think he went Dolphins numbered and everything. So yeah, you know, when you have this cool stuff, yeah, it's easy to get addicted, but you look at this old stuff and I just, you know, ever since BITG getting, you know, getting part of his streams, Missouri cards, Jeff at Missouri cards, he has a lot of vintage. Um, I, I just am kind of hooked on the vintage stuff. I love it. So yeah, Joe, we grow together. So, um, Deafness45, if you, haven't, if you don't know who Deafness is, I think y'all do, but go go sub him. And everybody sub each other in the chat, please. Um, Deafness just wants all of us to to make our channels better together. Uh, we hashtag we grow together. And, you know, as we get together as a team, we can sure accomplish a whole lot more than us individually. So, uh, I did that as a firefighter. I was always part of a crew and we did a whole lot of stuff together because that's what we did. We did the job together and you definitely have better accountability. You can watch each other and you can get stuff done uh, more so than just one person doing it. So um, we grow together and I feel strongly about that. And then crazy was talking about, you know, donating, you know, a portion of our live auctions, a percent, 10 percent or crazy was saying 10 or 15 percent. Uh, towards us uh i'm gonna call it a slush fund for now because that's what i i know it as 
just a fun. So if somebody does have hard times like Joe Ryan, he just passed away and Pepino man led the charge on that one. He, uh, you know, he raised a hundred bucks, uh, just off the bat. He just wanted to auction his cards. He didn't, he's never auctioned off cards before. I bet the guy could make thousands and thousands of all the stuff he's got, but he, uh, he raised a whole bunch with card dreamer. And I think, uh, you know, he, uh, donated 10% of our Sunday auction last week. I think we ended up sending about 60 bucks over to a uh, Pepino man. But Joe Ryan, if you don't guys don't know him, Joe Ryan was part of the um, the card community for a long time. I didn't get to know Joe, unfortunately, but he passed away unexpectedly and his wife was you know, left to deal with everything and he didn't have any insurance, life insurance or anything. So uh, we're all you know trying to raise money for him and help her out. So, uh, you know, that that goes in hand, hand in hand with the we grow together. We need to take care of each other. So um, let's see what you got going, Joe. I posted a throwback Thursday video yesterday. This is Jarhead, uh, and those packs took me back to high school. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out your stuff, Jarhead. I apologize. I don't know your that name, but I'm going to check and see if I am. I'll check to see if I am subscribed to you, buddy. If I'm not, I will for sure. Um, yeah, Joe, you're right. It's more than cards. Sure, we all have our idea of what we want for cards and in our PC. But if we can just, um, you know, remember it's about, you know, taking care of each other and, uh, you know, uh, paying it for when you can, you know, you know, the other day my wife uh, was in line uh, at lunch, her and my son, and there were two police officers behind them and they, you know, they left money to pay for their lunch, just stuff like that, pay it forward. You know, uh, somebody on the corner of the street, I know people get sick of panhandlers, but yeah, if you have an extra buck, throw a buck to them, you know, give a buck to them or, or give a bottle of water that's unopened. And that goes for us in this community too. whoever needs uh, help. We're going to put our hand out and it. And I like to call it a hand up, not a handout, because um, we're just trying to help people, uh, you know, get through whatever tough stuff they're they're dealing with and move on in life. So um, with that. People first cards will always be here. Yeah, you're right. Crazy. I totally agree with that. I was team O does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I get you now. Yeah. I was, uh, I was, I was sub to you team O. So now you're jarhead. Okay. Let me jot that down. So I'll be sure to sub you if I hadn't already. The jarhead entrepreneur. Gotcha. Did the, uh, team O, uh, design name, not just not work for you. Entrepreneur. Okay. Are you are you are you a Marine? Jarhead? Are you a former Marine? You retired? Looking for a response here. And a, a special thanks to Crazy. Uh Crazy for Cardboard. He is a retired veteran. So thank you for your service. Um anybody else that has served military we just all want to say thank you i personally was not in the military i you know i look back and wish i would have been uh and being in the fire service 21 years i learned that you know people put a lot out there to uh keep us safe and keep our freedom and uh you know make it a better place to live so thank you to all our veterans um can't say enough good things about our our, our armed forces active uh retired those that have passed on they they sacrifice a lot so thank you to all our veterans and thank you jarhead thank you for your service too i don't think you'd be throwing around that jarhead name just because i, I have a feeling you were you were military so thank you uh for for all you did as a marine uh so i'm not gonna drag this out guys just wanted to show you what we got um I'm imagining uh, several of these cards will be up and most of our auctions start at a buck. Um, uh, and if you guys haven't checked out crazy for cardboard, he, I think he had a, a morning auction every day this week and he was selling cards for a buck, 25 cents, 50 cents. So definitely a great way to, to start a PC or make that PC a little bit bigger. So uh, with that, I'm going to end this video guys. Uh, thanks for jumping in with me and checking out these all 68 and 69 cards, fun stuff. And I got to finish top loading them. Uh, but everything's in a, at least a top and a uh, penny slate for now. So you guys enjoy your weekend. I'll probably see you on some other live streams this weekend. 
and uh you know hashtag we grow together take care of one another and don't forget the ones at home they're the ones that help us get to where we want to want to be um and who we want to be so don't forget the ones that have got you to where you are and respect the ones that have walked before you so take care everybody and uh, we'll see you on the next live stream one o'clock on sunday mountain time three o'clock eastern we'll be live again thanks so much everybody take care